hello everyone so today in this video we are going to learn how to solve the given simultaneous equation by using Cramer's rule let's take a start here we have a two equation solution given equations are two equation are given here 2x minus 3y is equal to 3 write down in this method only x uh, 4x minus y is equal to 11 so it's easy to take the coefficient of x and coefficient of y so we have to write here coefficient of x coefficient of y and constant number or writing the coefficient of x coefficient of y and constant you can write or directly also you can write down coefficient of x and write here coefficient of y and this side we have to write down constant now what is the coefficient of x here coefficient in front of x what is here 2 so we have to write down 2 what is the coefficient of y here 3 we have to take with sign minus 3 so we have to write here minus 3 and what is the constant number 3 so we have to write down 3 similarly in second equation what is the coefficient of x 4 so we have to write down 4 coefficient of y what is here minus is here so here is nothing so we have to write down 1 we have to take with sign so minus 1 and what is the co constant 11 so we have to write down 11 here hope you understand up to here now we have to find out the value of d d1 d2 and we have to use the Cramer's rule so first of all we have to find out d to find out d we have to take um, coefficient of x and coefficient of y inside vertical line to find out the determinant uh, 2 minus 3 4 minus 1 4 minus 1 now let's find out the determinant to find out the determinant we have to cross multiply we have to multiply the leading diagonal 2 into minus 1 2 into minus 1 minus from formula 4 into minus 3 4 into minus 3 let's multiply 4 into minus uh, minus uh, 2 into minus 1 minus 2 minus minus plus 4 3 is a 12 is equal to we get here 10 similarly we have to find out d1 and d2 to find out d1 we have to take constant number and coefficient of y so constant number what is here 3 11 so take here 3 11 and coefficient of y what is here minus 3 minus 1 let's multiply 3 into minus 1 multiply the leading diagonal main diagonal main diagonal leading diagonal 3 into minus 1 minus from formula 11 into minus 3 11 into minus 3 3 into minus 1 minus 3 minus 1 is plus 11 into 3 33 and when you solve this 2 we get here 30 minus 3 plus 33 means 30 after this we have to find out d2 to find out d2 what we have to take we have to take coefficient of x and constant number coefficient of x 2 4 so we have to write here 2 4 and constant number what is here 3 11 so we have to write here 3 11 now we have to multiply the main diagonal leading diagonal 2 into 11 minus non-diagonal 4 into 3 2 into 11 22 minus 4 3 is a 12 and when you subtract this 2 we get here 10 so d2 is equal to we got 10 now we have to use Cramer's rule so at last we have to write down now using Cramer's rule Cramer's rule so what is the value of x x what is the formula of x x is equal to d1 by d d1 is equal to we have 30 so we have to write down 30 and d d is equal to we have 10 so we have to write down 10 is equal to 3 similarly to find out the value of y y is equal to formula d2 by d d2 is equal to we have 10 and d is equal to we have 10 so 10 by 10 is equal to 1 so answer of x is equal x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 1 so hope you understand this uh, uh, question with complete solution how to use Cramer's rule and find out the value of x and y how to solve by using Cramer's rule so if you understand this video please hit the like button if you are new on my channel please subscribe and at the side there will be a bell button so hit the bell button so you will get the notification of upcoming videos and in description you can you can join my facebook page also which is in description thanks for watching till last